Hi, I'm Jennifer Sir from The Sewing Room. Over the next few weeks, I will show you how to do different kinds of seams. And seams are really important because they're the foundation of what makes up your garment. We want to make sure our seams are stable and that they're pretty. So sometimes having them look as nice on the inside as it does on the outside makes a huge difference in the way you feel about your garment. So let's get started and sew some seams. Let's learn how to make a mock fell seam. Now we're going to sew a mock fell seam. And it's called a mock fell because there's actually a fell machine that does this for you. Like it's usually used in sewing denim together. But for our purposes, we're gonna do this mock fell and we're going to start with our right sides together. I have my fabrics right sides together and I'm going to sew a 5 8 inch seam. After I've finished stitching, I'm going to trim the top layer of seam allowance to about 3 16ths of an inch, just slightly smaller than a quarter. Then I'm going to press my underside seam allowance over that top side seam allowance that I just trimmed um, and getting it just a hair above the stitch line. Here you can see I've pressed that so that the seam allowance is just above the stitch line. Then what we're going to do is we're going to open up our two pieces of fabric and now press this seam over to the left so that the seam allowance is, is going to be completely contained underneath that seam. Now we're going to stitch it down exactly a quarter of an inch away from that stitch line. And here you go, there's the back side of your seam with the two rows of top stitching and the front row, the front side of your <laughs> seam with just one row of top stitching. Um, if you want your double needles to show on the outside, then you would sew wrong sides together to begin with instead of right sides together. And this is the mock fell.